All right, our next topic is arithmetic series. And the difference between a sequence and a series is just that a series means that we're adding up the terms of a sequence. So if a sequence is just a list, a series is actually adding up the terms to get a sum. So we're going to introduce one new variable here. Um, when we talked about sequences, we talked about the term value. So term 4, for example, would be 13. Now we're going to talk about S4, which is going to be the sum of the first four terms in this case. So if I were to add up what all these terms are, uh, I think that works out to be uh, 11, 21, so 34. The sum of the first four terms is 34. So what we're going to want now is a formula that's going to give us the sum of the first n terms of a series. So just to get this idea going, I'm just going to take the series above, 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus 13, and I'm just going to show you a little bit of a different way to get the sum instead of simply adding it up. We have that series, that's S4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite the series in reverse order. And I'm going to treat this like a system of equations, equation 1 and equation 2. And I'm going to add the two equations together. Now when I do that, you'll notice that these terms all become 17 in this case. And what we get here is two S4s, two sums. All right, so we could write this as four groups of 17. And so S4 is 4 times 17 divided by 2. And of course, that's going to work out to be uh, the 34 that we got above. But let's just note where some of these numbers are coming from. The 4 is the number of terms. The 17, a way to get the 17, we can think of that as taking the first and the last terms of the sequence, term 1 plus, in this case, term 4. And the 2 comes from the fact that we had two equations, and so the 2 is just a 2. All right, now you might not quite understand where I'm going with this, but if I were to take any arithmetic sequence and apply the same process, I'm going to get what I really have the building blocks for right here is the sum of an arithmetic sequence. All right, so now we want to find the sum of any arithmetic series. So let's write out our series. First term is term 1. Our second term is term 1 plus d. Third term. And then there's all these terms. Uh, I'm going to jump to the last term. The last term is going to be term n. The term before that would have been term n minus d. And the term before that would have been term n minus 2d. Squeeze it in there. All right, now I'm going to do similar to what I did with the numerical example. And I'm going to write this uh, equation in reverse order. All right. And then I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to add the two equations together. So Sn plus Sn is 2Sn. Adding the terms. Term 1 plus term n is term 1 plus term n. Now when I did this previously, I remember that all of these came out to be the same. Now is that happening once again? If I take these two, uh, the d's cancel out, and indeed I have term 1 plus term n. And it does happen every single time. So I'm getting the same sum, and I'm getting it how many times? The number of terms times, so n times. So n times that value. And then if I simply divide by 2, I'm getting a formula then for the sum, which if you compare back to our numerical example, was exactly the result we were foreshadowing. So this is the sum of an arithmetic series. Now there is another formula we can use, and that's from the fact that we know that term n is t1 plus n minus 1 times d. And what we can simply do is replace this in to this position. So I'm going to do that. 
So Sn is n over 2 term 1 plus this red piece, T1 plus n minus 1 times D. And so that reduces to n over 2 term 1 plus term 1, 2 term 1's plus n minus 1 D. And so we have a second formula now for the sum of an arithmetic series. So we have two formulas for finding the sum of a series, an arithmetic series. Which formula do you use? Well, it depends on what you happen to know. In this example, I have term 1 being 2. What else do I know? I know the common difference is 3. I don't know term n. Don't know it. Now, I could find it by using the tn formula, but I don't need to do that because I can simply use this sum formula, the one that has d in it, and substitute all my values in here. The sum of 30 terms is 30 over 2, 2 times term 1, plus jumps, 30 minus 1, 29 jumps of how much? Of 3, and crank that out. Uh, that'll work out to be 1365, I believe. All right, compare that problem versus one that says find the sum of this series. Now, you'll notice in this case we know term 1, and we know term, the last term, term something, term n, is 45. So you might consider, knowing that you know Tn, you might consider using this arithmetic sum formula. And that would be good, because you know both of these things. But what you don't know is you don't know the position that this term is in, which is our n. We need to know what n is in order to use this formula. But we could find that, because we could use our Tn formula and so term something 45 would be the first term 15 plus n minus 1 times D now we know that D is 3 So we're going to subtract 12, which is 33, divide by 3, which is 11. So term 11 is this term. Okay, so n is 11, which we can then apply to this formula to find out what all of these add up to. So S, change color here, S11 is going to be 11 over 2. 15 is the first term. 45 is the nth term, and we'll work all this through, and when you do all that, it's going to come out to 330.